What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. And today I'm gonna to show you guys 10 amazing things you can do on your Galaxy Z Fold 4. This is specifically gonna focus on multitasking things that you can do with the device that you really can't do with a traditional phone. Before I do that, I wanna remind you guys that this is coming up on the last days to pre-order your device. And if you use my special link in the description, I'm gonna show you guys where it is. It was in my last video as well. You can get a bonus $300 Samsung credit. All you gotta do is find the description down here, it'll also be in this video, where it says Z Fold 4, tap on the link, and when you open the Samsung page, it's gonna show you right there, $300 bonus Samsung credit, in addition to those other great pre-order deals. You can't find this on the regular Samsung website, only through my special link. And also, if you pre-order with me, you're gonna get access to my mystery box with a free case, a free stand. Which stand? Well, this one, from my friends over at Lamacall, height adjustable, tilt adjustable, one of my favorite desktop stands, especially to use with my foldables. You guys are gonna get that for free and a cleaning kit. The link's in the description for that as well. So check that out if you're interested in ordering a Z Fold 4, get the best deal and my mystery box. So let's talk about it today. We're gonna to be talking about all of these exclusive features on the Fold that really make it an amazing experience. The first one is the drag and split and multi-active window. So let's talk about this a little bit. If you use the Samsung internet browser, this is one of the coolest features on the Fold. So let's say I'm at a website like Amazon here and I'm browsing the main Amazon page, but then I wanna check out a link like this back to school link. I can just hold on this and then drag it over here into split screen view and immediately it opens that link and I've got two Amazon pages side by side, one with the back to school link. Now this doesn't work in Chrome, so you do need to use the Samsung internet browser to be your main browser in order for this to work. It's a very, very cool and a great way to utilize the Samsung internet browser with your Fold. And of course, if you wanna go back to single view, you can just close the second window. Now you can also do that with your Apps Edge. You can just drag apps into split screen view like this. Let's say we open up another window and then you can even open up a third one. Let's say we wanna open up maybe Google Keep again. Let's drag that down here. And then you can resize all of these windows any way that you want. So all the windows can be uniquely resized however you want. This used to be that you could only resize them in a predetermined configuration, but you can see you can resize these however you like, so you can make any configuration possible. So that's drag and split and multi-active window where you can resize them all at once. And of course, when you're done, you can just swipe this away and it does stay here in your recent apps, this app pair or triple, and you can tap on that and get back to it. Of course, if you wanna close things out, you can just go ahead and close this and the active windows as well, and then go back to the home screen. So that's the first tip that I have for you guys. Very, very useful right there. The next thing is cover screen mirroring. So cover screen mirroring, if you go into, the easiest way I think to find it is just to search for it. So go in here and search for cover screen mirroring. It's under home screen. We have to dig in the settings a little bit. If you go into cover screen mirroring, you can choose to turn it on so that the layout on your cover screen and your main screen will be identical. Now, if you don't want this on, of course, you don't have to, but this is a great feature if you like to have the same apps on both of those screens, and some people do. So you can actually see here that on my particular Z Fold 4, I don't have the same apps on my cover screen as I do on the inside screen. I have some additional apps. So if I turn on cover screen mirroring, I just wanna show you guys what this will do. And if I hit apply, your main screen now mirrors your cover screen. The thing is, what you'll notice though, is that you, this part right here, there's some stuff that's empty because there's more room on the main screen than the cover screen. So keep that in mind, you'll have to spread them out kind of in the appropriate way to make it look good on that screen. Now, when you go back and turn it off, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get your original cover, your inside screen that you had before you turn it on. So you can always recover it if you have two different screens. Now also keep in mind that with the wallpaper, if you have wallpaper on the inside, that's not gonna match the wallpaper on the outside unless you set the inside screen and the outside screen to have the same wallpaper. I actually like to have a slightly different but related wallpaper on my outer screen versus my inside screen. But that's entirely up to you. And that's not something that the cover screen mirroring will change. It will not change your wallpaper by default. 
Uh, the next thing is there's a lot of, let me actually talk about taskbar next. The taskbar is a new feature of the Z Fold 4 in One UI 4.1.1. It's down here where you've got some apps here, you've got recent apps here, and then over here you can actually get into your app drawer to activate other apps. Now, the nice thing about this is there's a lot of different ways to enable it. If you go into the settings, again, just search for taskbar. A lot of these things are buried in the settings, so searching for it is usually the easiest way to go. Taskbar is turned on by default. There's a couple of options you can play around with. One of them is show recent apps. So if you turn this off, it's going to remove those two apps here, which are the recent ones. And those are just suggested recent apps that you might want to get back into. I like to leave it on. And then the other thing is show and hide with touch and hold. So what this is, allows you to do is if you're using the taskbar and you're using gesture controls, you can actually hold that, long press it, and then the taskbar goes away, hold it, long press it, and the taskbar comes back. So you might want to decide if you want the taskbar on or off, or if you like this show and hide with touch and hold. Maybe you don't want that on, you can turn it off. If you don't like the recent apps because you think it takes up too much real estate, then you can go there and play with that no problem. So you can see that the other thing you can do too from here is you can also an app, open an app from the taskbar to open in multi-window view. That way, if you're in one app and you're gonna switch, you know, quickly go into multi-window, you can quickly grab something from here and then go right into multi-window view. So very, very useful. The taskbar is one of my favorite features on the Z Fold 4 and One UI 4.1.1. Uh, I should have had my keep notes open here, but I'm gonna show this guy to you guys right now. There's seven great features in Samsung Labs one of them, which I'm gonna show you in a second, is one of the ones I use all the time. You drag this down from the top corner to open pop-up view. This is something you can enable in Samsung Labs, which I had this open in pop-up view to begin with, and then I switched to multi-window. So this can open your app in pop-up view, which I use all the time. The other thing you can do, of course, is you can actually keep this up at the top all the time, which is something that is good if you open and close it as much as I do. And you can also keep this view up here, so this can enter pop-up view at any time. But the swipe down option is fantastic and one that you're definitely gonna to want to enable just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like there. So let's go into Labs. Labs is actually down here under Advanced Features and there's a bunch of things that you're gonna to wanna to mess with on the Fold. The first one is Multi-Window for All Apps. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Some apps don't allow Multi-Window and this forces them to open in Multi-Window. So like Split Screen or Pop-Up View. Full Screen in Split Screen View basically allows you to have your apps open in split screen view. So let's say I wanna do, so I've got Twitter, let me do Chrome. And now I have both of them open in full screen. Now, if I wanna get back to my taskbar, I can just swipe up and then it appears again. This is a very, very useful feature to have and one that I really do enjoy. I'm glad something that Samsung added in labs. Show multi-window menu with one window. That's when you have one window open, but you still have this little bar at the top. So you can go right into multi-window from that little tab. A lot of people are used to that and they like to have it there. Swipe for pop-up view. That's the one I just showed you where you can swipe down from here to put your app into pop-up view. The other thing you can do is swipe with two fingers for split screen. So let's say that I'm in Twitter and I wanna go into split screen. I just swipe, this is kind of hard to do with the stand. So let me actually show you here. Swipe up with two fingers and it'll take me right into split screen and I can use any app that I want in split screen view. These gestures are really nice because they obviously allow you to access things a lot quicker on your Galaxy Z Fold 4, which is really important with this bigger canvas. So the taskbar, the navigation gestures, and things like the mirroring the cover display, they all kind of come together. And also the trick I showed you in the browser, which is one of my favorites, you can go ahead and open links in multi-view by just long pressing if you're using Samsung browser and drag it, you know, drag it all the way over till you see the window and just get a pop-up view. So fantastic features, really amazing stuff you can do with the Z Fold 4. I got a lot more tips and tricks videos, how to get battery life, how to do other multitasking, how to use the S Pen coming up. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon if you enjoyed this video. I cover all things Samsung, so I hope you'll enjoy my channel, lots of customization stuff. Also, again, if you want to check out and purchase a Z Fold 4, use my link to get the best deal and grab a mystery box from me. I appreciate you guys checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.